Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. And a lot of you are asking about importing talk groups for the DMR radios. And let me show you that using a Brandmeister list. Now, this one is quite old and it may export a little differently from Brandmeister now, but we really need to start with the data that you are importing. So, talk groups, Brandmeister, CSV. This is what you're going to get from them. And you open it up, and I have a talk group number, which is the really the important part. I have a name, so I know what it is. And then I have this really weird column. This is one time that Excel works better for me than does the programmer. I've been told that disconnect is a private call, but all the rest of them are group calls. Copy it, take it down to the bottom of the list, and paste it. Now, they're all group calls because you are going to need that no matter what programmer you import this into. Save this up, close it, and now we're going to put it to good use. I'm going to use the MDUV390 today. MDUV390. Talk groups, contacts, the words are interchangeable. File, import, talk groups. Do not leave it open in Excel. The two programs cannot open the same file at the same time. Next. And it breaks apart into columns like I need it to. If there are quotes on it, I'm going to go right here and I'm going to tell it text qualifier is a quote so that they'll all go away. Next. And I'm going to ignore this country because there's nothing the radio needs it for. Call ID is this talk group name. Call type. Okay. Next. And finish. And there they are, all 1,600 of them ready for you to use. And there are probably a lot more today because my list was from a year ago. Save it up, go into your memories, and set your channel up with your frequency so you're ready to use them. Set them into group lists so you can use them to listen to groups of them, however you want to divide them up and you'll be good to go. Hope it helped. And remember, if you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.